How are you, everybody? Are you well? Uh, actually, the yellow dust has been so bad that so many people have to stay at home or go see a doctor. Uh, please drink water as much as possible and wear a mask when you leave. And I hope you can take care of yourself well. Uh, all right, today's topic is about pronunciation. Uh, I came to realize that so many Koreans have a stereotype about English pronunciation. They think their pronunciation is not good, so they can read an English book for their children. Pronunciation should be perfect like a native speakers or a person who doesn't have a fancy pronunciation is not a fluent speaker. And correct pronunciation um, is really, really important part in speaking skills. Uh, simply put, uh, these are not correct. You know, pronunciation is a tool to have a better conversation. Uh, the way people say is more important. Uh, let's think about UN Secretary General Ban Ki moon. Um, actually, he doesn't have a fancy pronunciation though. He has a correct pronunciation uh, enough to make foreigners understood well. So, foreigners think uh, he speaks English very well. Um, so I want to tell you, you should get rid of stereotype or burden on this. And remember, pronunciation is just a tool, not a goal. All right? Then, uh, what is a good pronunciation? Yeah, it is okay if it's understandable level. Uh, that means you should be able to tell between uh, boat and vote, late and rate, face and faith, feel and feel, want and want, sad and sad. Um, yeah, something like that. I don't want to spend my time teaching about this because there are already a lot of books covering this content in a bookstore or in your house. And also, you should learn how words are pronounced in one sentence. Actually, it is a very, very important part. Uh, many of you uh, can pronounce each word exactly. However, um, some of them don't know um, how pronunciation is going to be when words are put together in one sentence. Uh, if you don't get used to this, you will definitely have difficulty in listening. And you might have some trouble when you engage in casual talk with foreigners. For example, your foreign friends is passing saying like this, what's up buddy, what's up? But you can hear like this, job, so what's they say, job, catch up? But yeah, it said, what is up? What it's up, what's up, right? And please, okay, let's um, meet in front of the gate at five, in front of the gate at five, front gate, what is it? Yeah, let's meet in front of the gate at five. So these uh, make you disappointed so many times, right? Uh, if you want to enhance this skill, please uh, try dictation. Um, just start dictating one sentence a day, that that's enough. Um, you realize dictating even one sentence is not easy. Actually, I couldn't catch a word even today when I tried at first because I wrote down the day instead of today. Um, it, uh, it took a lot of efforts and times and energy. However, it was so efficient and great way to improve my pronunciation and my listening skills. So please, why don't you try and give it a try from now on. And of course, you can expose yourself um, to American movies, TV sub operas, TED Talks, and so on. Uh, there is lots of, and there are tons of stuff you can use. It helps you, uh, it helps you learn how they say and how words are pronounced in daily life, in real life. And of course, the thing I can be missing is to read sentences aloud. Imitating what they say is a sufficient way to improve your pronunciation. You can find a website where native speakers read articles and writings. I used to use cassette tape 
or when I practice pronunciation when I was a student. I subscribed Time Magazine when I was a high school student. Uh, it came along with a cassette tape with native speakers uh, recording articles and I did my best to imitate the way they read the articles. Pitch, pause, length, pronunciation, whatever was heard, I practiced them until I could read exactly the same as native speakers on the tape. Of course, it was not easy, but I could get a sense about how to read English sentences and get relatively exact pronunciation, uh, even if I didn't study abroad. Of course, it needs more energy and efforts, but I bet your efforts will be, will be pay off in the end. So why don't you give it a try from now on? Okay, let me subscribe uh, what I said before wrapping up. First, uh, please get rid of the burden that you should pronounce English like native speakers. It would be okay if you convey your message in an understandable way. Uh, foreigners don't care about your pronunciation, but care about your message you're sending. Second, practice the word foreign languages doesn't have like a b, f, um, l, and r, and s, th, and so on. And third, let's get used to linking like wrap it up, give it up, talk about it, and read about it and so on. If you don't know how to pronounce them yourself, you never ever understand what they're saying. Even if you listen to it over a hundred times, you can tap into movies, TED Talks, TV soap operas, and so on. Fourth, uh, make sure to dictate what you listen. Start, just try one sentence a day and then you can increase the amount of the time you're learning gradually. You cannot improve your listening skills without intensive learning. Lastly, practice imitating what native speakers are reading. Please read it aloud at least 10 times a day. This procedure makes you transform into a fluent speaker in English. And I hope you can try what I mentioned from now on. Don't forget, practice makes perfect. And thank you for watching this video. And I hope to see you again with the better content later on. Uh, have a great day. Thank you. Bye.